After a spectacular show of the rare super blue moon in conjunction with Saturn, there's more exciting space news for you. A new comet has been discovered approaching the Earth that may become as bright as Polaris, the North Star. This celestial visitor was discovered on the night of 11 August 2023 by Japanese amateur astronomer Hideo Nishimura. This is Nishimura's third comet discovery. The most remarkable thing about it is that he discovered the incoming comet when it was passing the orbit of Earth before any automated survey facilities that continuously map the sky like PANSTARRS, ZTF, or ATLS. At the time of discovery, the comet had an apparent magnitude of 10.4, which is about 40 times fainter than a star on the threshold of naked eye visibility. However, the comet is brightening as it approaches the Earth and the Sun. As of August 26, its magnitude had skyrocketed to 7.9, a tenfold increase in brightness compared to the night it was discovered. In the attached video, you'll find every detail on how to see Comet Nishimura in the coming days. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any astronomical updates. The official name of the comet is C-2023 P1 Nishimura. Now, what's the logic behind this name? Well, the name of a comet tells a lot about its nature, origin, and discovery. The naming system for comets follows a well-defined pattern. It begins with a prefix indicating the object type. In this case, C denotes a non-periodic comet that takes more than 200 years to orbit the Sun and may have an irregular orbit. The prefix is followed by the year of discovery, 2023 in this case, and a letter-number combination representing the time of discovery. Each month is divided into two halves, labeled alphabetically, O for the first half of January, B for the second half, C for the first half of February, and so on. The accompanying number signifies the order of discovery within that period. So, in summary, the name C-2023 P1 Nishimura indicates that this is a non-periodic comet discovered in 2023 by Hideo Nishimura. Name of the person observatory or telescope that discovered the object can also be added. So C-2023 P1 Nishimura is a non-periodic comet, the first object discovered in the first half of August 2023 by amateur astronomer Hideo Nishimura. Comet P1 Nishimura will make its closest approach to Earth on 12 September 2023, followed by its perihelion, or the closest approach to the Sun, five days later. It's a bit disappointing that the comet didn't pass by in December. If it had, it would have been an amazing sight, coming within just 0.06 astronomical units, or about 9 million kilometers of Earth. The comet seems to have a strange orbit, catching us by surprise as it came from the south and from a direction close to the sun, which is probably why it went undetected earlier this summer. Pu-1 Nishimura is following a retrograde path that's tilted about 129 degrees compared to the flat plane of the planet's orbit, or the ecliptic. This means it's moving in the opposite direction to the inner planets in the solar system. The comet also seems to have an orbital eccentricity slightly greater than one, indicating that it's likely a new visitor to the inner solar system from the distant Oort cloud. After reaching its closest point to the sun, it'll probably get flung out towards galactic space, Toward the southern constellation Pixis, according to Joe Rao, an instructor and guest lecturer in New York's Hayden Planetarium and Space.com skywatching columnist. If you're interested in spotting this new comet on your own, be prepared to wake up early, usually about one and a half to two hours before sunrise. You'll need binoculars or a telescope to get a good view since the comet isn't bright enough yet to be seen with just your eyes. It's also a good idea to be in an area with little light pollution far from any strong light sources. Having one of the space apps given in the description will be helpful, so you know exactly where to direct your gaze. But the most vital tip is to find a spot with a clear and open view of the sky in the east-northeast direction. This is the area where you'll be able to spot the comet starting from August 26th and lasting until September 4th. The comet's journey will take it through the faint stars of the Cancer constellation, shaped like a crab. Then, beginning on September 5th, the comet will move across the upper part of the recognizable star pattern called the sickle. This pattern forms a backward question mark and represents the head and mane of Leo the Lion. 
Comet Nishimura will continue to get brighter as we progress through this period. By around September 5th, it could become as bright as the fifth magnitude, and there's a chance it might even be visible to the naked eye. Four days later, its brightness might have more than doubled, possibly reaching the fourth magnitude. Sadly, as the comet gets closer to the sun, it'll gradually sink lower in the east-northeast sky each morning. By September 9th, it'll be at a height of about 10 degrees, roughly the span of a fist held at arm's length just above the horizon. As the sky starts to brighten with twilight on the morning of September 12th, although it might have become brighter and reached a third magnitude, it'll hover just above the horizon. This will likely be your last chance to catch a glimpse of it. You could still see the comet on September 17th, the day it comes closest to the sun. According to some sources, it might be visible in the evening sky, positioned almost directly above the sun during sunset. P1 Nishimura could shine as brightly as the second magnitude at this stage. However, it will be just 11 degrees away from the sun, and the intense brightness of the sun will most likely overwhelm any visibility of the comet. So, the first week of September is the best opportunity to see this celestial visitor due to a short six-day observation arc. The long-term trajectory of the comet is poorly constrained. If its eccentricity is more than one, it means P1 Nishimura is following a hyperbolic trajectory, and after its perihelion, it'll exit the solar system never to be seen again. Although P1 Nishimura won't be a memorable comet like Neowise, Leonard, or Hale-Bopp, there's another one approaching the Earth that has the potential to outshine even the brightest stars in the night. Sky, it's the Comet C-2023 of 3 Sachinchen Atlas. This incredible celestial object was first spotted in early 2023 when it was about 7.3 astronomical units away from our planet. It's fast approaching our planet and could be the brightest comet of the decade. If the comet behaves as expected, it should become visible through small telescopes in the early summer of 2024. By late September of that year, it may even be visible to the naked eye or through binoculars as a pre-dawn object low in the east before sunrise. It'll be in the eastern sky before the sun rises. Whether or not it'll have a tail at that point is still uncertain, as it depends on the age and activity level of the comet. In early October 2024, Comet A3 will pass very close to the sun from the perspective of Earth, and as a result, it'll disappear from sight. Assuming the comet survives its close encounter with the sun, it should reappear in the northern hemisphere sky after October 11th or 12th, 2024. At this point, it will become visible after sunset and gradually move higher in the sky each evening, making it easier to observe. If things go well, Comet A3 will become brighter than most stars you see at night. But comets are tricky to predict and we can't be sure what exactly will happen. So we can only wait patiently for this special space visitor to get closer to us and see how it acts. Happy sky gazing and make sure to subscribe to this channel so you get all the regular astronomical updates on time.